In the digital era, everything is digitized. Every device is getting interconnected with software and networks. The microprocessor can be considered as a small brain that lies inside every device. It is the brain that runs the program and gets every task done. Shakti is an indigenous open source processor program and an academic initiative started in 2012 by reconfigurable intelligent systems engineering RICE Group at IIT Madras. The program aims to include open source production grade processors, SOCS and even development boards that can be used in various devices that we use in our everyday life. Namaste. The Shakti Indigenous Microprocessor Program for India was conceptualized in 2012 wherein uh, our former president, Dr. Abdul Kalam, stated that by 2020, every Indian should aspire to do something concrete for the country, which will be either a product or it should be a, a process. It should not be just abstract. Motivated by this, in 2012, we thought what can we do and our area of expertise was computer architecture. So we decided let us do an indigenous microprocessor for the country which can be commercially marketed which will go into the market into the products of our country and that can ensure several things. Number one, this microprocessor shall be made available for every use in India without any encumbrance or any embargo. It will be an open source microprocessor which every startup in India can utilize that and build a business around it. This will be a fully open source architecture wherein every agency, both civilian and strategic, which would like to use this microprocessor can open up the source code and find out what is inside. It will not be a black box and it addresses a major security concern about programming elements that are part of such electronic designs. And this should be a state-of-the-art family of microprocessors. Because today, in the digital era, every electronic component has a microprocessor inside which actually executes a program and that program decides what that electronic component should do and what we see is that these electronic components spawn across very small embedded devices then certain microcontrollers like your point of sale terminal etc then there are medium range devices like your laptops and mobile phones and your desktops, workstations and then major high performance computing architectures like your cloud. So you see microprocessors all the way from very small embedded systems to very large cloud based services. And we would like if you are envisaging a complete security in the digital environment, it is very important that you have microprocessors in all these stages. And that is the reason why we decided that we would have a family of microprocessors, microprocessors that can go into small devices, which are very power hungry, which, which will only require very, which has to sustain on a battery for say, um, you know, uh, a year or so. These are sensor-based systems. This can be used for weather monitoring, pollution monitoring, etc., etc. Then comes a medium-range devices, which can be on your point-of-sale terminals or your uh, network uh, routers, etc., which, which we call as the controller class of processors. And then a set of processors which will go on high-end computing devices, which we call as the I-class processor. So we have three basic classes of processors which, uh, which would fit into 
multiple applications and almost all applications where microprocessors are needed uh, in our country. We had three successful tape outs. The first one was uh, done at 22 nanometer technology node using the Intel Oregon Fab. And the second tape out uh, uh, was parallelly done with this uh, using the SCL 180 nanometer technology node at Chandigarh. The third tape out was the Maushik uh, that is uh, done again on 180 nanometer technological node. The first two tape outs, uh, namely uh, Intel's Rice Creek and uh, 180 nanometer technology Remo, both of them had the same components, both of them were same, only the technology node were different. Uh, the, uh, the Rice Creek, the chip size is actually 4 mm cross 4 mm, uh, which, is, uh, uh, which is on the latest technology node. Uh, the, Mau uh, the recent one which we uh, taped out was Maushik. The E-Class uh, Maushik has been widely used at all the embedded applications. Uh, so here what you see is the chip layout that, uh, uh, so basically this is the chip uh, Maushik and what is inside is the uh, layouts. Uh, so these are the metal layers inside the chip. This is nothing but uh, the the inter the connections that is been uh, been done inside the chip uh, uh, between the logic. So this 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 is what we call as physical design. After uh, when the design gets completed, it comes to this process where we optimize the design in such a way that um, uh, it can fit into a particular core size. And uh, and further after completing this, we generate something called as GDS. Uh, that is called graphical data stream information interchange. That, that is what is given to the fab for fabrication of the chip. Uh, the main USP of Shakti is open source processor development. The whole ecosystem starting from architecture to its uh, silicon, is uh, the flow is maintained open source so it can have wider adoption and the engineering is so strong that at each stage, the adoption can be uh, done throughout the student and uh, the startup community uh, to make it a bigger success. Shakti being open source, uh, there, is, there can be wider adoption to the whole uh, Shakti ecosystem at different domains and uh, it can be adopted by the engineering com community to strongly give a, uh, to give a strong competition to this billion dollar market. Even though the Sakti processor is indigenously developed, we have the, developed the complete SDK core to test and we have various libraries to add peripherals as easy as possible. In addition, the SDK has three, support, three packages support. One is SDK support, second one is platform I.O. support and third one is Arduino support. So with this, we'll be able to easily add the libraries and test it easily. It will add the beneficial in reducing the time to market. So right now we'll be, we are using the Shakti C-Class processor uh, with, uh, which is the Vajra SOC and we'll be booting the uh, Linux over. So right now uh, we have loaded the uh, Linux on top of it. So it has started the Linux and right now we will be showing you a demo of how the Ethernet and the SD card works in this system. So right now uh, we have just uh, uh, set up the uh, Ethernet system so that uh, we can see this uh, interface in the ifconfig command. So once that is done, uh, we can now ping any system or the Google web server for example. So right now we are getting the response back. So which means that we are able to access uh, any system through the net network or in through the internet. Uh, right now we have the uh, SD card mounted onto the uh, slash root partition over here. So right now you can see that there are a few files over here. 
So right now, we'll, what we'll do is we'll remove the index.html and we'll try to get the Google's home page. So this index.html is the uh, home page of the Google and it's now right now currently written in the uh, SD card. So uh, right now we have uh, shown you the demo of how the SD card and the Ethernet works in the Vajra, Vajra SOC which is the C-Class 64-bit uh, Shakti processor. The success of this journey of uh, Shakti Group in this past eight years has led to uh, uh, an introduction of a host of uh, startups uh, catering to different domains and they will provide all the uh, products uh, using Shakti and uh, the solutions uh, which the India needs in the microcontroller domain.